that's one area that was hit very hard. Malini, take it from there. Oh, Pete, let's talk about resilience first. I have Gay Bumpus with us. You guys want to just see her house? Look at look at this. The second floor completely gone. This is Gay. Gay lives here with her husband. Gay, can you just as we're we're actually going to walk through the house a little bit just to show you um, cautiously. Gay, if you want to tell us um, where were you guys? What uh, happened? Well, we actually, uh, Josh, maybe you might want to go first just so we. Um, my husband came in and he um, he wanted to. Um, get home before the storm hit. And so um, he was looking out back and we've got a lot of alarms going off. He was uh, looking out back and, and then we ran for the bathtub. I don't know why we did, but we ran for the bathtub. And so we went into a little bathroom back over in the corner back there and got in the bathtub. We had two pillows from the couch on our heads and uh, I had taken some throws from the couch and we, uh, we got in there and be careful. There's glass everywhere. You don't have to go too far, Gay. That's fine. But um, yeah, glass. yeah, things keep falling. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. Literally, as we're standing here, guys, that glass got shattered. Josh, if you look glass. up uh, where you were standing right here, right in the foyer area, and this is her living room. Uh, my God, I can't believe this. This your bedroom, your it's just, just everything. It's here. just everything. Um, don't this, stand under that. Yeah, this is, sorry, and if I could just ask you, you know, this is your house of seven years. Yes. Seven yeah. years. We've enjoyed it. It's, it's been a blessing to us, but we'll rebuild, so uh, we'll start from scratch and do it again, I guess. My heart breaks for you guys because I just heard him sitting there uh, on the phone saying, I just lost everything. Um, you guys just, if I could just show you um, around, this is the living room here, their kitchen in a matter of seconds, just gone. So this is- in the kitchen was all moved around. The, I had a table and a buffet over there, gone. Oh my uh, it's, there were pictures on the walls that are all gone. Um, just that picture that's right there was over there. So it was all the way across the room. You know, it's uh, like what Pete has been saying. They went to a lower level of the house. They hid in the bathtub. And I got to tell you guys, they are resilient. They're standing here talking to us, and she still has a smile on her face. Um, one of those smilers. <laughs> again, this is in Jacksboro, just so you guys know. And so this is the inside of it. If we can just go outside for one moment to show everybody what it looks like on the outside of it. Sure. Uh, there's what? I'm sorry. That's a, there's a good look at what it looks like outside. Yeah. I, you yeah. know what? You could actually peek right from here, too. Um, so again, this is in Jacksboro. All of this happened, you said around 3.30 or so, right? About 3.45, I just got home. I left work early and it, then it hit. So. I'm so glad he was here. I couldn't have done that by myself. <laughs> I can't imagine. But guys, this is what it's like in Jacksboro. And also as we were driving down this road, we saw, same thing, homes like this, power lines down everywhere. And it, first bedroom is really a wreck. It, it's got really wrecked. I'm um, so sorry. Um, Guys, this is, this is Jacksboro. This is just one home of many. Um, in our prior live shot, we were just right there by all of the new homes there, and they're all destroyed. Yes, um, and I heard the high school got destroyed too. Yeah. So. But the good news in this, uh, well, we were talking to officers on the ground. That was about an hour ago. They tell us that there were no reported injuries. But guys, this is what it looks like in Jacksboro. This is just one of many homes, and the Bumpus family was kind enough to let us inside and show us uh, what they just went through. You were calling 911, I heard. I did. I, I called 911. I didn't know who else might have been hit, but we were. <laughs> what did and it sound like? I, I don't know if she could understand me because I was pretty frantic at that time. So, but uh, she said that they would get here when they could. So, yeah. Oh, man. I'm so glad you guys are okay. We might be able to just show you real quickly if we have enough time. Um, Pete and guys, uh, I just want to show you on the outside here. Uh, I mean, just look at this mess here. This is their house. They just had this for seven years. They have their brother here, and, and who else is here with you? Some My family boss. members, your boss. Yep. I mean, this is, these are the towns that come together after tragedy, right? Look, I just want to show you guys. Take a look at this. The second floor, completely gone from this house. Completely gone. Uh, this family is resilient. Um, you saw Gay here. She had a smile on her face after this because you know what? You are alive and you are okay. Yes. So thank you yes. for sharing your story with everybody. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all coming out and thank checking you. on us. <laughs> thank you. And I'm going to send it back to you guys. We're going to spend some time with these folks here. Okay.